Colts to Cone here, and today I will share with you what I consider to be the best start for Ark in the Black. As soon as you start your campaign, you'll want to attach the hero to your army and attack the first enemy. Fight the battle manually or auto resolve, it doesn't really matter. Here I chose to be lazy and auto resolved it. Allocate skill points and attack the nearest settlement. For this battle I would recommend fighting it manually, especially if you auto resolve the first one. The battle is not difficult, the most dangerous unit in the enemy army is this peasant bowman. If you manage to get to them with your fast units they die fairly quickly. After the battle you'll want to occupy the settlement and recruit another lord. One of the benefits of playing Aachen is the fact you can get an additional army capacity right at the start of your campaign. Start recruiting units. I would recommend you recruit direwolves and crypt girls. Construct the growth building in your capital and activate the commandment for growth in your province. Start researching a dynasty. I usually go for the first dynasty and then end their turn. Next turn you'll want to move Arkan's army close to Martek while still being able to go into ambush stance. Move the second army close to Arkan and start recruiting units. You can go for Felbats but I would recommend just standard spears. Declare war on the Bretonian faction in the settlement and then end the turn. Over the end turn, if your ambush doesn't get detected, the enemy will attack you and you can defeat their army. If it doesn't get ambushed and the enemy stays in the settlement, you will simply attack them the next turn and defeat them. Here I got lucky and ambushed them. On turn 3 I attack Martek and occupy it. Start recruiting more spears, allocate skill points into your red skill line as you should be aiming to get the resurrect skill as soon as possible to make your units more durable. Begin constructing a higher tier settlement building in one of your minor regions and end turn. At the beginning of the next turn you will perform the great incantation of Tahos, declare war and repons and attack coffer. Recruit a casket of souls and occupy coffer. You will then sell Martek to the Greybeard's prospectors, but you should decide here on what you want to do. If you don't want to fight them and want to ally with them instead, you can get a non-aggression pact and try and befriend them, but if you want to conquer them just sell it for what is essentially an insane amount of cash for the Tomb Kings early in the game and then you can attack them later on. Next you will want to start recruiting more units, spend your skill points, build up your settlements and end the turn. Now usually Rapunz doesn't do this, instead she will either stay at Fierce and recruit more units or move to Al Haik. If she does one of those two things in your campaign, what you will do, since you can't attack either settlement this turn, is move your second army up to the border between your settlements and recruit more units. Meanwhile, with Arkan's army, you will move into ambush stance behind it. If you manage to score an ambush, or if Rapunz just attacks you, you can fight her like that and easily win. But if you get detected and she moves to Al Haik, you can besiege the settlement with Arkan and force her to sally out and attack you. In this case here, I just attacked her once, she retreated within range of her settlement garrison. Then I moved my smaller army closer and attacked her with Arkan again.
do not control a large army to deny her any advantage she might have, and fight the battle. The first time I fought the battle, the game was a sore loser and decided to crash on me. The second time didn't go as smoothly as the first, but I was still able to find a decent win. Find a nice corner to set up in. If she doesn't charge you instantly, use a fast unit to bait them into attacking. Keep the crypt girls behind them to surround them and make it easier to route the enemy units. Cast Spirit Leech on either Henry or Rapunz until you kill them, then use it on the cavalry, as they will be the only threat to you in this battle. When you win, don't forget to round down as many units as you can. After I win the battle, I force marched back into my own territory to replenish, allocate skill points and end the turn. Next turn, I attack al Haik and occupy it. From here on out, it is up to you to decide what you want to do. You can keep Rapunz alive, continually sacking Fierus, to get her defeat trait and gain more research trait. Although, unlike in Warhammer 2, it is really not necessary here. Or you can occupy the rest of the province and begin expanding as you see fit. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for future content. Thank you for watching and until next time.